just going back a little bit again, you had mentioned um, you worked at a munitions plant um, after you came out of the, the camp. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't say anything about oh, yeah. <laughs> a Japanese or Japanese Americans working in a, in a munitions plant when they were worried about spies and, and all this kind of thing. That seemed kind of strange. Oh, uh, yeah, that might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was uh, working at Tuala is kind of a, a classified thing. And uh, in fact, they, they recruited Japanese. In fact, there's a big group of us Japanese working at this Tuala. And like you say, uh, uh, if they have any doubts of us to sabotaging the shipment, why uh, uh, they, they wouldn't have hired us. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, 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 they had full confidence on, uh, that we'll do the job. And so. Yeah, that, that was quite a job because uh, they'll say that uh, we need certain certain amount of uh, ammunition for uh, uh, the Navy in, uh, in uh, South Pacific. We need it right now, we need it tomorrow. So we'd work uh, around the clock and just had enough time to go home and uh, eat what we can and go right back to work. And uh, that went around the clock and uh, that's how much we had to, to do to uh, get the shipment out. And uh, no, the government, they had no... Uh, qualms about the hiring of uh, mm. uh, Japanese Americans. So I remember reading about some some of the people in the camps worked on camouflage nets and things like that, but I never realized they worked in munition, munition plants or actual, you know, armament. Yeah, see, Tuala, uh, Tuala is, uh, is located about 30 miles, uh, let's see, uh, east of uh, Salt Lake City. And uh, <clears throat> there's two areas in America that's considered uh, uh, rust free, uh, the one in Nebraska and one at Tuala. This is where they can leave uh, tanks, any equipment without covering. It won't rust, and that's where everything's uh, everything's not covered. Just just out there, and that that's where we were in uh, Tuala, and uh, everything out in the, out, in the, out in the field, and uh, we have to, uh, and they have a great big uh, real uh, heavy uh, like a concept the storage stored in there. And so we had to work uh, out of there to uh, make our shipments to uh, wh whoever needed it. Uh, it's, it's not a, a, I don't think you call it an armament plant, but it's, it's a storage plant where they have stored uh, bombs, you know, yeah, yeah, and then the warheads, you know, they, uh, <laughs> and they have to move. Yeah, I know. That's the other thing I was thinking. Maybe they had you there because it was, like, very dangerous. <laughs> Boy. Oh, no. There, there, there's, a, there's a big Japanese group there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, we went to a place called Milford. It's a, it's a mining town. It's a rough mining town. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> on Saturdays, all those miners would come in town and uh, town. have their... Uh, <laughs> and they're looking for Japs. So, oh, oh, no. yeah, yeah, they're looking for a fight all the time. Yeah. Wow. And then there was one uh, dishonorably honored uh, Navy guy there, and he wanted to be a hero. So every time we go after... Uh, a post office where he was there waiting for us to show up because he wants to, you know, a fight, start a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you left and you walked around in groups, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 for, for a while there after that, we had to go in a group because I, you won't stand a chance. Yeah. Now, there's one night there that uh, we had one fella, uh, he was kind of a hothead uh, Japanese. He wanted, he wanted to take him on, you know. <laughs> said, hey. But the attorney said, good thing you didn't start in trouble because uh, you would have got the worst. And all those the drunken miners are there.